Hello. Yeah, in this video, uh, I want to go over how to perform explanatory factor analysis on binary variables using R. Okay. And if you still remember, the original EFA is for continuous data. Okay. So when we have binary variables with values zeros and ones, we cannot really directly apply the original factor analysis on this data because um, we will not be able to compute Pearson correlations, okay, which has a formula for continuous data. Okay. And uh, so what do we do when we have binary data? Because sometimes we do have, um, you know, questions with yes or no answers. Okay. And the key idea is really um, like what we covered in the original fact analysis video that to perform a fact analysis, we only need the correlation matrix. We don't really need the original raw data. This is really critical. Okay, so um, and the, the fact analysis on binary data is really based on this critical observation or critical fact. Okay. So the idea is we will compute a correlation matrix for the binary variables and then we'll conduct a fact analysis using that correlation matrix, all right? Uh, but we need to keep in mind that now the correlation between two binary variables is not Pearson's correlation. Okay? So they have a name called tetrachoric correlations. So we will compute a tetrachoric correlation matrix, okay? And then we'll feed it to the fact analysis function. And to do all that, we need the library psych. So we're gonna load that. And this is a very um, comprehensive package. So here I also loaded the library GPA rotation uh, in case you want to play with some rotation methods, um, but I will not do that in this video. I'm just showing you if you want uh, to play with rotation, you can load in this package. Okay. Then we can generate data. Uh, today's date is November 29th, 2024. So that's my random C, sample size 100 five variables okay. and to generate binary data uh, actually I cheated a little I'll generate uh, a multivariate normal data sets uh, using the library MASS and then I create uh, a correlation matrix uh, you can see the correlations range from 0 0.5 to 0 0.9 so there are positive correlations and some are large correlations. Okay. The mean vector is uh, zero. And then I use the MVR norm function to draw a random sample from the multivariate normal distribution uh, with mu mean vector and uh, core underscore matrix, the correlation matrix. Okay. And then I convert this continuous data matrix into a binary data matrix by using this if else statement. So basically any value that is positive will be coded as one, otherwise it's coded as zero. Okay. So, and uh, I force it to be um, a data frame uh, and then I uh, create the column names as item one to four, uh, one to five. So here's the first few rows of this uh, 
binary data matrix I created. And then we go ahead, do fact analysis for this data matrix. And the first step is we, remember we don't work on the raw data. So we create the Tetra Corica correlation matrix, which is available by using the Tetra Coric function. Uh, and uh, it's going to compute a bunch of uh, objects. Uh, so we just grab RHO rule, that's the correlation matrix. Okay. And let's print it out. And this is the Tetra Cori correlation matrix of the five items. And we'll feed this into um, the called FA dot parallel function for fact analysis. The FA dot parallel function is a function in the psych. Um, package. So you can see the on the right hand side uh, you can pull up the help file. Uh, it contains quite a bit of information. So I'll just you know point out it's there. Uh, I s encourage you to read through it to learn the details about this function. So here I'm using the FA dot parallel then the tetra core matrix n dot observation equal to the sample size n. Uh, Fm is that's the uh, factor method. Uh, if you look at the help file, it has uh, ml uh, m -E -R -E -S, uh, minimal residuals, uh, then it's uh, ULS, WLS, and weighted least square, and GL generalized least square, uh, and PA. Okay, so the, there's a different method um, for estimating the factors. Okay. And the FM is the, um, no, FA is the eigenvalues. You want the principal component uh, or the principal X factor analysis or the principal components and factor, principal factors. So here we use FA, so it's uh, we want the principal axis factor analysis. Okay. So let's create that and then print it out. So you can see the here's a bunch of uh, outputs. Uh, you got the eigenvalues of the factors and then you got uh, of the simulated factors and uh, then the components, you know, etc. here. Okay. Um, and if we uh, look at the right hand side. Uh, this is the screen plots. Um, you can see uh, it's really um, look at the actual data. Um, we seems we can use uh, two factors. Okay, so let's use n under uh, score factors equal to two, and then we run fa the factor analysis function using the correlation matrix n factors equal to 2 and rotate the very max and uh, fm equal to ml okay so this uh, by doing this we um, performed a fact analysis for binary data and we can examine the results the look into the factor loadings so look like that um, uh, and you can see item 3, 4, 5 loaded on ML2 and then item 1 and item 2 loaded on ML1. So there's pretty clear patterns. Uh, so uh, that's why we created this artificial data set with high correlations between the variables. Um, so we do have some hidden structure in the data uh, so that our fact analysis is a success uh, and hopefully we can do some data reduction. Okay. And you can visualize the de facto analysis diagram by using fa.diagram. Uh, look at this. Uh, it shows you item 3, 4, 5 loaded on to uh, ML2 factor and uh, item 1 and 2 loaded on ML1 factor. Okay. 
Of course, there are more detailed um, results you can interpret from the fact analysis results. Uh, but this video, uh, by using this video, I just want to show you the steps uh, how to perform a EFA on binary data. Um, and if you let's go back, take a look uh, for the uh, psych. Yeah, I cannot spell. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can see it's a very comprehensive um, package. It has so many information in it. Um, and what I want to point out here is uh, you actually have, um, let's see here. Um, so you have the tetrachoric function here, okay, like this one. This is what we use for binary data. Um, but uh, you can also use this package to use, say, polyserial to find the polyserial and the biserial correlations for item validity studies and you can use the mixed dot core function to form a correlation matrix from continuous polytomous and dichotomous items so uh, the package psych actually has everything that you can have continuous data binary data polytomous data or mixed data okay and uh, I think I'll do another video on mixed data fact analysis. Thank you so much.